Yo, what's up, boys? So earlier today, I was just balling out with my slimes in a Discord call, and one of my boys was like, Achito, do you want some views on the YouTube website? And I was like, uh, yes, I do. And he was like, well, listen, dude, you just gotta make another Bella Porch video. And seeing as the Bella Porch video I made about a week ago is at, like, almost 9,000 views, I can't say that he was wrong, so here we are. So for those of you who don't know, Bella Porch is a TikTok star with over 10 million followers who pretty much became famous overnight, with one of her videos going in incredibly viral. She posted a TikTok lip syncing to the audio known as M to the B and that video is almost over like 200 million views, something ridiculous. I mean say whatever you want about Bella Porch but there's really no argument that the content she's making is super super low effort. I mean dude you decide for yourself okay I'm gonna show you one of her TikToks and you tell me what you think okay? Tell me if you think a toddler could recreate this or not. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm pretty sure the only requirement needed to making this TikTok was, well, being literate. I mean, she just had to read the lyrics of the song. That was, that was it. M to the B, M to the B, M, 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 M to the B, it's M to the B, M to the B, bang. Something like that. I think that I should be famous now, right? So long story short, Bella Porch is getting canceled right now because she had a tattoo of like this logo that seemingly was anti-Korea or something like that. I mean, fellas, let's keep it a two buck chuck here. I really don't care and I know you don't care either. We're just here to make fun of her because she got famous for no reason, dude. Like if we could just do what she did and get a steady income, I think we all would be famous. Like, dude, can you imagine someone asking you what you do for a living and then you have to show them these series of clips? Rightly so. You shouldn't go. It wouldn't be honest. I'll go, disguised as you. What if he wants to hold hands? I'm prepared to make that sacrifice. What if he wants a kiss? I'm prepared to make that sacrifice. What if he... You don't want to know how far I'll go. Headphones with mic. Headphones with no mic. No headphones, just mic. No head, no headphones, no mic. A dumb bitch with no life. Look, dude, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, these videos are like the worst thing on earth, and these videos are what's wrong with this generation. Because, dude, as you know, there are mass murderers, serial killers, neo-Nazis, and of course, Logan Paul subscribers still out in the open, so these videos are definitely not that bad. I think the main problems that surround Bella Porch are as follows. I think the first problem is that millions of kids are gonna see her content and then be like, Mom, Mommy, I wanna be like Bella Porch when I grow up. I wanna be a famous TikToker. Which is obviously super unrealistic. I mean, I mean, TikTok has almost been deleted, what, like three times now? Almost completely taken off the app store. Second problem with Bella Porch, and then to this you could probably say, a cheetah, well that's just how it is, man. Life ain't fair. But dude, let me just say this. And dude, call me salty here, call me jealous, call me whatever the hell you want. I cannot name more than three reasons why she's famous. Like dude, she isn't funny, and miss me with that, oh humor is subjective, okay a cheetah, humor is subjective. Like dude, it's literally just not funny. Like bro, if you've ever laughed at a Bella Porch video, Either you're a paid actor or you're one of these kids. Anyways, going back to why she's famous and me going full detective mode on trying to figure out why exactly Bella Porch is famous, the only real answer that I've gotten from somebody was in my YouTube comments section of my last video saying, oh dude, she's kawaii, she makes cute facial expressions. Which I mean, dude, if that gets you 10 million followers by making a certain facial expression, I think, um, <laughs> we're, we're fucked. I mean, that's it. Like, dude, growing up, my main source of entertainment was Cartoon Network, okay? We had some of the greatest shows. I mean, dude, The Amazing World of Gumball is literally my avatar. And look, dude, I know I'm gonna sound like a boomer when I say this, but dude, there's no way that more people are gonna be fans of this new age of entertainment where it's literally people standing in front of their phones having an audio play. Then there's gonna be fans of actual cartoons. Like, dude, there's no way there's gonna be more fans of Bella Porch than there is SpongeBob. Like, I hope that's not gonna be the case. And dude, don't get it twisted, okay? I'm not sitting here praying for the downfall of Bella Porch. I mean, it's super cool to have someone be this successful, you know, not really doing much. I mean, dude, if I'm gonna keep it a two-buck chuck once again, if I was in her shoes, I would be flossing. Like... I mean, I would not be complaining whatsoever. But what I really don't understand is how somebody like Bella Porch has a fan base. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do people like this have fans? Like, I simply cannot imagine that there are people who get a dopamine rush after seeing she posts a video of her sitting in front of her camera while having an audio that somebody else made do the entertainment. Pay the price and another life. No. <laughs> What the fuck what the was fuck? that? Bless you. Thank you. Hey, um, guys. Shut uh, the fuck up! Fuck you! Shut up!
Jesus! You fucking suck! I hate you! Nobody loved you! Fuck you. You're right, Lise. You shouldn't go. It wouldn't be honest. I'll go, disguised as you. What if he wants to hold hands? I'm prepared to make that sacrifice. What if he wants a kiss? I'm prepared to make that sacrifice. What if he... You don't want to know how far I'll go. Like, dude, I'm sorry, but she's 19 years old, intentionally acting like she's a toddler, like she's a preschooler. Anyone else find that kind of weird? Like, bro, if you want to sit here and say, oh, Charlie D'Amelio shouldn't be famous, Dixie D'Amelio adds nothing to her videos, they're both talentless and they shouldn't be famous. I mean, I don't entirely agree, but you can make those arguments. I think those are somewhat valid. The thing with Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio, I don't watch one of their videos and I don't leave the video feeling mad, you know? I'm not feeling like, oh my god, dude, how is this famous? How is this famous? And sure, I could be like, oh, I mean, you know, maybe it's a bit weird, maybe it's not, you know, maybe it doesn't deserve all the clout and all the hype that it gets, but it's not making me mad. Every single time I watch one of Bella Porch's TikToks, I'm left unhappy. I feel unhappy after watching one of her videos. And the real icing on the cake for me is the fact that she's making a ridiculous amount of money from these videos. Dude, I hear so many crybabies on Twitter whining about, oh, Jeff Bezos is so rich, dude. Jeff Bezos needs to pay more taxes. But dude, let's compare and contrast Bella Porch and Jeff Bezos, okay? Jeff Bezos adds a pretty needed service to society with Amazon. I mean, everybody at least once in their life has used Amazon, and that's just a fact, right? And Bella Porch, well, while you may have seen one of her videos, does not by any means mean that it's helped you or you've benefited from watching the video. And well, spoiler alert, they're both disgustingly rich. Obviously, Jeff Bezos is like you know, the richest man in the world and is exponentially more wealthy than Bella Porch, but they're still very, very wealthy. Anyways, dude, I'm getting a little bit sleepy, so if you guys have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are at all new to the channel. Be sure to join my Discord server, because I've been playing a lot of Among Us recently, and if you want to play with me, just go join. Who knows, dude, maybe if you're in a game with me, I'll be using it for more gameplay in the next video, so uh, be sure to join. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links all in the description below. Comment down, toothpaste if you've made it this far into the video, and I will go heart your comment. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.